thank you all so much for coming. On behalf of the Hunger to Health Collaboratory, <clears throat> I'd like to warmly welcome everyone here today, both the 60 odd people who will be here with us uh, in various comings and goings uh, throughout the day, as well as the 120 of you who are participating virtually. I'm sorry that you can't be here with us in this beautiful Mass General Brigham conference space. Our conversation today will focus on challenges and innovative work happening around the social drivers of health. We will start by discussing the national landscape from the recent ending of the public health emergency and the challenging redetermination of Medicaid coverage that it sparked to increasing food and nutrition insecurity to the ongoing challenges around enrollment, new work requirements and changes in eligibility affecting USDA's SNAP and WIC federal feeding programs, nutrition programs, all of which of course impact health equity. Can everyone hear me? Okay, I can't tell from up. <laughs> Great, well, a sea of thumbs up, that's very cheering. After lunch, we'll focus on some examples of how select states are innovating to address these challenges. <clears throat> Pardon me. We will also be hearing about the new Food as Medicine initiative, initiative at Tufts University and be introduced to the very exciting Health Equity Compact. So we have an, an exciting agenda and have allowed time for questions and discussion throughout the day. We invite our virtual audience to submit questions through the Zoom Q&A function. We will, and we will also, um, per our new practice, be producing and sharing a summary report of this event. Now I'd like to, I'd like to briefly uh, recognize our H2HC Leadership Council members, Karen Mitchell of Stop and Shop, um, Melanie, Melanie Condon of Keurig Dr. Pepper, and Catherine D'Amato of the Greater Boston Food Bank, who are co-hosting. <clears throat> and of course, the H2HC team of Sam Smith, Caroline Floor, who is sitting in the lobby, and Sandy Brooks back in the back. Should any of you have any questions during the course of the day, please reach out to any of our team. Now, before we turn to our first panel, I'd like to introduce Melanie Condon, Director of Sustainability at Carrick Dr. Pepper to share an exciting H2HC update. <coughs> Pardon me. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Welcome. So nice to see everyone. What a beautiful space, too. Um, I want to just let you guys know about some exciting work that H2HC has announced at the end of May. We have open call nationally for two prizes, $100,000 worth. Um, and we're looking for innovative work in the food nutrition space that's going to be advancing health equity. So these prizes are open. We're taking applications as we speak. Uh, we'll be closing the deadline for applications at the end of July, July 28th. And you can find more information about this on the H2HC website or come up and ask us about it. Um, but think about those in your network or those that you um, work with or organizations that you're familiar with that might be interested in applying um, because we're really looking to get some innovative outside the box thinking in this and we want to reward those that are taking um, really interesting innovative steps. Uh, so exciting work and we'll have more to share after uh, we review all the applications and then we announce the winners as well towards the end of the year. So thank you. Enjoy uh, today and I'll be around if you want to chat with me about any of the work that H2HC is doing and I'll toss it back to McLean. Oh, thank you, Melanie. Thank you. Thanks so much. Ooh, I will just add to, to Melanie's comments that we will be inviting, uh, excuse me, we will be introducing the winners of our prizes at our fall summit on November 16th here in Boston. So you might want to just make a note of that. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome our first panel to the stage. <clears throat> 